everyone, this is Claire Curry, Science Librarian at the University of Oklahoma Libraries. Today in video three, we're going to talk about literature synthesis. Literature reviews do what they say. They review what the scholarly literature says on a given subject. However, to keep this from becoming just a list of facts, you need to synthesize that information to show the reader the patterns that exist. You use this framework of showing the larger patterns to write your synthesis. As you've reviewed the literature, you may identify gaps. The identifying of gaps in the literature is a great framework to writing the introduction to your thesis or dissertation, or to writing introductions for a manuscript, chapter, or grant proposal. So those are all great cases to do a synthetic literature review. If you believe you have a new framework or perspective in the field, this can turn your manuscript into a whole chapter or paper by itself. In this tactic, you may or may not be identifying a gap, but you think you've got a new view that others have not identified before. If you're thinking about doing a literature review, um, if you'd like to get started before our in-depth videos on synthesis later this summer, we've got some online resources available at these links. The first one is a whole research guide dedicated to writing a literature review and strategies for it, and many of our STEM subject guides have writing books listed as well. Keep an eye on Twitter this summer, as well as the Davis Listserv to find out when our literature synthesis videos are going to be posted online later this summer. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email and I'd love to talk. Thanks for joining us and stay safe out there.